For me, the ideal food system at Concordia would be a system that encompasses many different approaches. Um, Right now, what we see is student-run initiatives. And the students, uh, through the access of funding, through the Sustainable Action Fund, will develop projects and then propose these to the administration. And if you fall on the right person, it works. But often, there isn't uh, someone within the administration that's there to facilitate, to guide, and to, to move forward these projects. So there isn't actually, um, you know, you just have to, as a student, find the right department and hope you catch them on a good day. Uh, and pitch your project and hope that they get the support or that they have even the power to allow you to move forward in that. So what I think is important would be uh, that there is some kind of a, a department or some kind of a, a person responsible within the administration of Concordia beyond the uh, Sustainable Concordia group but something more um, set into the administration that their job is to look for opportunities to, f uh, to provide resources, to divert waste resources from the university and really support and encourage the development of these projects. And not only support and encourage them, but put them on the front page. Um, Concordia is really looking to be a green school, uh, really looking at having this environmental image. And if they really want this to happen, they have to get in there and support the students. If they, if they allow it to only be ground up, then when the students leave, they leave with their projects. But if they were actually to create an internal structure that supported, encouraged, and, and enveloped these projects, the projects would grow and the students would keep contributing to them as even after their graduation. This has sort of happened with the Beatles Potato as well as the Frigo Vau, but there's many more projects that could have continued uh, if they had had that uh, you know, in-house support through the administration.